Hi, I'm Heinbach, good to have you back. I'm putting out this video a bit ahead of schedule because I visited a rather special place last week that is closing down by the end of this week and I want to give other people the chance to check it out before it's done for good. Let's back up a little. I recently traveled to Denver, Colorado to make music with my friend Adam Morford who creates instruments as Morph Beats. During that time I visited the local Colorado Synthesizer Society Modular Meetup. It held place at the headquarters of WMD, a rather big manufacturer of Eurac modules. There were some cool synthesizers there, especially for visual stuff, a nice VCV rack demo and Alex of WMD demoed the new modules. After that we had a little tour of the factory. Sadly I didn't have a camera and microphone with me, else this would be an entire video on its own. After that we visited Denver's first modular store, Luigi's Modular. At the meetup I learned something that got me rather excited. Someone told me about a store in Colorado Springs that has rows upon rows of test equipment, which I love to use to make music with and I know now that some of you do that too. So on the last day that I was in America, Adam and me did a little road trip to Colorado Springs. Arriving at OEM Parts Incorporated, we were immediately saddened by the words store closing written on the front window. Entering the place felt like the start of a treasure hunt. You could see that there had been a sale going on for quite some time, but there were still rows upon rows upon rows of stuff. It seems there were all the parts you would ever need to fix any appliance, all the cables you would need, all the connectors. It was impossible to grasp everything in the first walkthrough, so I did a few. I quickly discovered what I was looking for, test equipment to make music with. All around the walls were museum quality function generators, both for audio and for radio. Much of these were beautiful museum pieces and probably not that useful for making music, but I can appreciate the craft. Hidden in the rows I found some very interesting tectronic modules such as this word recognizer. Or this TM506 rack. This HP distortion analyzer caught my eye because I know this can be used as a fantastic overdrive.
This Motorola signal generator could be very interesting to create rhythms. We also found some tape recorders in various states of function. A big dictaphone. There was of course a lot of ham radio stuff too. Hidden behind computer parts and joysticks, you could sometimes find a piece of audio equipment lurking. And all kinds of vacuum tubes. Coming into this reminded me of going into a toy store as a kid. The excitement was on a similar level. OEM parts is probably not a gold mine for test equipment, but it's at least a silver mine. And I'm pretty sad that it's going out of business. All my bags were packed and already full with test equipment that I had bought via eBay in America. And I couldn't pick anything big. But I found a nice BNC switch, which can be used to route different signals to different instruments. That comes in rather handy in my studio. I do hope some of you get the chance to check out OEM parts. For me, it's always sad to see these small businesses go out of business because in the end only the chains remain and if you want to source a special part to repair something you need to source it on ebay which is usually much more expensive if you know of a special used electronics or music instrument store where one could go and get lost in digging please leave it in the comments so that's it for this video thank you all for watching and see you in the next one bye